I'm finally getting my hands on and testing the Chi Air Spin and Curl Heat Tool for you guys. So many of you have asked so I could review this and today's gonna be a simple video. We're gonna demonstrate, see how it works on this hair right here that I have. Hair texture is fine and I don't have that much of it and it's straight. <laughs> so we'll see how well it works and how easy it is, That all that good stuff. I'm grabbing some scissors and I'm trying to open this up right here. So I got this on Amazon and it retails for 109 US dollars. It's not cheap. It's quite expensive actually. I thought it was gonna be cheaper. But Chi hair products, Chi hair tools usually range around the $100 mark range. And this is their one inch tool. So you're not gonna get such loose waves or curls. They're gonna be a little bit more on the tighter side. And this already feels very heavy. <laughs> So I'm just comparing it to the Dyson, and they feel similar enough. Yeah, it's not too bad. It just feels heavier than a flat iron or a curling iron, because this is essentially a curling iron. All right, so let's see how low we can go with the temp. So we can go as low as 180 degrees Fahrenheit, which is amazing. Usually they'll give you an option as low as like 275 or like 300. Let's see how high we can go. We can go as high as 410. And I do like that the temp temperature reader is a digital. All right, so also what you can choose is your desired setting timer. So for example, they have an option of 15 seconds to hold your curl in, 17 seconds and 19 seconds. I'm going to choose 19 seconds just because I'm on a lower temperature setting which is 300. All right, so they also give you a little card of how to use it properly. They give you instructions, which is really great. And then I like that on the actual tool itself, it shows you this side towards your head. So you're not confused as to where you should be placing it. And you do get the little arrows away from your face and then towards your face. That's really cool. I like that, it's automatic. All right, I'm gonna put a timer on, stopwatch. Start. All right, so I'm just gonna insert it into the chamber, which is just at the top, and you just start pressing which button you wanna go, which direction. So the hair is inside the chamber. Now you hold it there until you hear the four beeps, and that means the timer is set and you just take the curl out. The one thing already I don't like, I can't see where the hair is going. <laughs> There we go. Oh, okay, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> All right, interesting. So it gave me the curls that I expected, which are just very simple curls. All right, so I'm gonna do the other button instead. All right, so you just put it towards the top and then you press the button which you like. I'm gonna go the opposite way now, which is away from my face. and you have to hold the button until it stops rotating itself. Let go of the button and then just hold it there, which I do like that part. You don't have to keep holding the button constantly for 19, 15 to 19 seconds. But again, the curl, you can't really get a variety of curls. That's the one thing. Yeah, not a fan. And you do have to work with smaller sections because you don't want to get your hair stuck <laughs> in the chamber. But honestly, with the functionality, it's really easy to use. You just put the hair towards the top right in that little slip or the little dam that they have built, the little valley. <laughs> and then you just hold the hair until you feel it getting sucked around the chamber. Not sucked, it's just rotating around the chamber and then you hold it there. I like how easy it is to use, super easy.
I curled that the wrong way. <laughs> My back is hurting. Let's see how long it took. It took almost 22 minutes from start to finish. This looks very intense. This is not the type of curls that I like, but these are the types of curls that I wanted when I was a lot younger, like six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old. I wanted those like doll curls. This is literally what you will get. They are very bouncy, but already I don't like the fact that you can't have versatility with this tool and this tool is already expensive. It's over $100 and that's the one negative drawback. I don't personally like these curls. I wouldn't wear them on an everyday basis. So therefore I am not gonna be reaching for this and it's probably gonna go back because this tool is not for me. Pros, I love that it does the job and it advertises what it does. And honestly, with a little bit of practice, the first couple of strands, you get the hang of it really quickly. I like that you have a lot of options. You have the amazing temperature setting. I like that you can have 15 to 19 seconds. I like that it does rotate for you and then it stops. And I like that it does a little beeps for you, letting you know that your curl is done and you can just take it off. I love that aspect. I love that it does not get hot whatsoever. So you can place this on your head without burning yourself. Just make sure you don't place your finger on the actual gold part, which is the barrel inside chamber. And it's very simple. I like that it's simple to use. It is a little bit heavy and my back is hurting right now from sitting here for almost 22 minutes and curling this. But overall, the tool is doing what it's advertising to do. I really like that aspect, but I don't like that it doesn't have versatility. You guys know I'm huge in versatility. I, I like products that I can do more than one thing with. All right, I do wanna brush these out. I'm just gonna use a regular hairbrush. And I did some sections accidentally towards my face, which I didn't want to do. So that was a tricky part also, trying to understand where and which way the curls go because you are using your mirror. All right, so I think this side when it's brushed out actually looks pretty nice just because you have so much volume in the body from the mid to the ends of your hair. Like, look at the difference. I think you could create a really nice hairstyle with this using type of like old Hollywood type of curls going towards your face, all of it, and doing like a super deep part. And I think that would look really pretty, honestly. What do you guys think of this tool? What do you guys think of this, this type of hairstyle? Personally, for like an everyday, it's not my favorite, <laughs> but I think it's fun and it's different. It's giving me a lot of body. I like that. Let me do a little spin for you guys so you can see what it looks like. All right, so there we have it. Honestly, I am pretty impressed with the tool. I like the many different options that they give you. You can really customize it to your hair type. I really appreciate that. I love the timer, it makes it very simple for me. I like that the chamber, like the outer portion does not get hot whatsoever. I did have a little bit of issue on my right side, holding it with my right hand and looking into the mirror, trying to make sure I place the hair perfectly through, just because with the mirror sometimes I can get disoriented. I'm sure many of you do. And then I do like that they have a little guide here. This always towards your head and make sure you keep it like at a 90 degree. It makes it very simple. I like that part. Overall, if you do want this type of tool, if you want this type of hair and this curl, maybe look into it. I think this type of curl, it does a good job for this tool specifically. You can still achieve this curl with a curling iron, but a lot of the times, because it has that clip, you can create little kinks in your hair and you see that little straight lines. So if you are looking specifically for this hair style and this hair curl, you might really enjoy this. This does have really great reviews online and I can see why specifically for this hair style, I think it does, I think it did a phenomenal job, but do I recommend it over a curling iron or a flat iron? No, just because it's not gonna replace my curling iron or flat iron, and I can do a lot more styles with those two other tools. So that's my take on it. I think it's great at what it does, 
but it does lack in versatility. So you be the judge of what you want and if you think this will be a great investment for you in your hair styling, hair care option, I think honestly this is a pretty great tool for what it does. So thank you guys so much for watching, spending time with me, and let me know what other hair tools you want me to test out, and I will see you in the next video. I love you all very much. Bye.